Ionian column. Fifth century BC, is it not? No, it happens to be third century BC Doric. So you're off the mark by a couple of hundred years, you ignorant bastard. Lieutenant Brown, one never kills a cook, especially an Italian cook. On this occasion, we will spare Signor Rotelli and hang this man in his place. Professor Blake, what is this incessant compulsion to escape? It's 
the habit I picked up as a soldier during your First World War. Please ask yourself as a civilian, where would you be if the benevolent arm of the Fuhrer's antiquarian reclamation unit had not rescued you from your various internment camps? Well, I most certainly would not be looting Greece of all her art treasures. <clears throat> Sergeant Judson, in what swamp of despair would you be? If your circus-bred skills of climbing and rigging had not enticed me into plucking you from your prison camp in the fatherland. As for you, Bruno Rotelli, if you were not a cook... Aspetta. I'm not a cook. God knows that is true. I'm a racing driver. Sometimes I sing. And then... I have a I... feeling that your defection to the Allies must have been taken as a mixed blessing. Now, listen to me. Uh, don't... There are three dead archaeologists here who cannot be replaced. But please note that they've got to deter Sergeant Mann from shooting them. So in the future, in the interest of peace and harmony... Harmony ain't what's about to happen. Well, my Hecht, I am pleased to see that you are conducting a summary trial for these criminals. Have you determined their punishment yet? I was about to, Maya Faulkner. Oh, please, proceed. As I was saying, to deter you from further disrupting the mission of this unit, you will immediately be confined to your sleeping quarters. This camp exists for one purpose, to exhume priceless archaeological relics. Anyone who interferes with that project will pay dearly for it. I suggest you confine them in here. Remove the grating. Open it. Jump in, men. The SS, we play no favorites. Put the dead men in with them. Do you wish me to give the order? Herr Major, let me remind you that in this camp, I am in command. You're quite right. I have exceeded my authority. Have they located the transmitter? No, sir. It takes 30 seconds to get it fixed, and the Greeks never transmit that long. You don't care about any of this, do you? I care that your resistance heroes have turned five girls into whores so they can spy on the Germans for you. You know, we have a date for an Allied naval invasion of the Aegean. Who's invading us this time? <laughs> How do I know? The British, the Americans? The Germans are Nita, from a madam's point of view. They just hang old men in the village square. The resistance, it has a specific target to take now. All right. Yes, the submarine refueling depot. Real coffee, what did you get? Lieutenant Brown. Uh, 
How did you get it? to escape. Oh, they told me that we were going to a country club. century Aegean vase. I would have sworn it was fourth century. Looks expensive. You were shot down over the Adriatic. That's right, on our way to do a USO show. I see you are a swimmer. Do you swim underwater? What did you have in mind? We need someone to explore the coastline for ancient art treasures. I'm your man, Major. And you, Mr. Dane, what is your speciality? I'm a stand-up comic. I do shtick, tell jokes. I'm afraid there's no place in the antiquarian reclamation unit for a comedian. But there is for a swimmer. Even if Miss Delmar were not a swimmer, she would not be entirely useless. Well, thank you, Major. Major Folkman, in his next sweep, wishing to interrogate you. Is he another jazz lover? He is a major in the SS. I, well, I could catalog your art collection, write little biographies of jazz immortals, uh, tune up the motorcycles. I do mending, washing, not too much starch in the collars, though. Oh, we shall see how things will be working out. I could teach dancing to the men, help limber them up after all that goose stepping. And, and Gershwin, an American in Paris, I'm a wonderful... Fortunately, Gershwin has been forbidden in the Third Reich. And not a moment too soon. Son? Am I up? What took him so long? Sergeant, you will take Mr. Dane to Barrack 7 and escort Miss Delmar to the guest quarters next to the carpenter shop. Jawohl, Herr Mayor. I hope you won't mind the bank. She never has. They sure got a lot of loot in there. This crowd could have a good thing going for himself. Not everyone's as crooked as you are. You want to bet? You will stay here. I'll take care of the tip, sweetie. I'll meet you downstairs in the bar just as soon as I freshen up. Work? Please? Come. trying to locate the radio again. <laughs> well, he'll never find out where he's been looking. You can change all that. 
That's a commitment I'm not prepared to make. Then stop complaining about it. Climb back to your monastery. Oh, I intend to. Is that part of your plan? Now look, uh, you forget I said that. Commandant. Oh, sorry. I have a tough time with names, but I never forget a face. Well, my dear Miss Delmar, I see with that quickly to new situations. Uh, Everything in its proper place. Oh, I always like to make things homey, you know, traveling a lot the way we do. Uh, we, you and Charlie. No, no, we. We in show business. Charlie and I just met on this Aquacade gig. Aquacade? That is uh, an American word I am not knowing. It's, uh, it's sort of like a wet Busby Berkeley routine. Only it gives the farmers a chance to see a lot of floating boobs. Uh, boobs? Uh, would you like to sit down? Thank you. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. Why don't we uh, drink to something? All oh, right. Like, uh, like peace uh, for the world. Oh. Cross it. Sure. Say, what's going to happen to us? Uh, to you? Nothing. I'm not so sure about your Jewish friend. How'd you know he's Jewish? In the Third Reich, they assume everyone is Jewish. Unless proven otherwise. You have, uh, nice lives. Thanks. I would like to. So what's stopping you? I anticipate that you might. <laughs> I may look dumb, but I'm not stupid. Something wrong? You are not responding. Honey, you said you wanted to. I didn't say I did. I do see that under the circumstances, you might cultivate her. Aren't you going to take your wine back? That would not be the act of a gentleman. And blackmail is, huh? Only if it succeeds. I beg your pardon? Come on, somebody's always digging a tunnel to escape through. <laughs> not here. Oh, that's a relief. I mean, it's not such a terrible spot to sit out the war. No. And our Austrian commandant feels the same way. What is it? Well, that's about uh, 200 BC. It's a miniature of some household god. Probably off a uh, lady's bedside table by the look of it. How do you know that? I come from a long line of archaeologists. You see, when the sun never set on the empire, we looted with impunity. Treasure from Egypt, 
Porcelain from Peking, golden masks from Persia. Isn't that Hex racket? Oh, I'll come and Yes, well, he used to be a devoutly dishonest art dealer in Vienna, so he has to be more careful. The ordinary archaeological finds do go to Berlin, but anything of any real value, he ships off to his own sister in Switzerland. What else? This looks like one you found yesterday. <laughs> oh, clever of you. Yes, you're quite right. They, they made them in sets of two, husband and wife. How come everything is under the camp? Well, all this is one beautiful temple of Neptune, and the people of that day came here to leave their valuable offerings. Isn't that well, what happens if we run out of things to dig up? We won't. Isn't we take precautions. To the commandant's Matt, office. put him back to bed. Now you see him, now you don't. Very neat. So tell me, where's the real heavy stuff? <laughs> well, Charlie, somewhere... You! Dane! Major Hecht! Come! If he could only stand up by himself without having to rely on me. <laughs> Are you still here? Not a bad life. Got a match? Hi, Fraulein. Give him hell, baby. Oh, beautiful woman, Sergeant, your mother. Wife. Ah, nice dainty quality about her. You're a man of exceptional taste, Sergeant. Exceptional taste. Charlie. Major. Nice view. Have you ever been to Hollywood. I played a few bits there. Do you know Anne Sheridan? Do I know Anne Sheridan? No. Miss Sheridan is what they call the uh, oomph girl, is she not? All the time. What is oomph? Oomph. It's the icing on the strudel, Major. That, then, is the area I would like to be discussing with you. In the matter of Miss Del Mar, your status here does not admit you connubial privileges. So far. Consider it a closed door. However, there is no reason that we all must suffer. Certainly not. Idle machinery rusts. <laughs> Precisely. Now, given the uncertainty of your position here? Well, I thought you might need a social director. You know, a bingo club, teach the tango, put on shows Saturday night. I do a fabulous Jolson routine. Yeah. You ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> you, uh, you have my permission. Terrific. You'll have the grooviest camp in the mountains. Now, uh, back to the question of oomph. I thought that was going fine. On the surface, yes. But, uh... <clears throat> Well, it's hard for some ladies to uh, fake it. Well, she could look upon it as uh, theater. I don't know, Major. A jazz lover like you, stooping to this. The spoils of war, my friend. about those two Americans? No. What about them? They may have been planted by the Germans. I'm waiting now to hear from Allied intelligence. We may have to kill them. Yes? Zoe. He gets a man from a prison camp. You take him. It's Brown. Brown. Leave it without his truck. Please. Don't get upset. You don't have to be jealous of him when he's with his truck. It's the truck that upsets me. The ex 
got his girl, and he doesn't seem to mind at all. He minds. I don't trust him. Telling bad jokes doesn't necessarily make a man a collaborator. I thought for the finale that I would... It would be nice, Charlie, if Dottie was to sing Lily Marlena for the man. You got it, babe. So how's business? Berlin is satisfied. Are you? Well, we are finding some things of minor historical interest. You would not be here if that's all there was to find. I'm not sure you are meaning that as a compliment. Bubula, from me, that's a compliment. The real treasures are up there, in a monastery on Mount Athena. Triptychs, icons, jeweled, carved in gold, Byzantine masterpieces. And, of course, there are the plates. What plates? Gold plates. Two-headed eagles in best relief, commissioned by Constantine VI in 790 AD. Worth how much? Ten million. Marks? Swiss francs. Well, that's two, that's two million bucks. Yeah. And when we win this war, I will liberate those treasures. You won't win this war. Well, then I am quite sure that you will liberate them. Enjoy your company, uh, Bubila. And I love you too, Otto. Thanks for the airing and the smoke. Is that you, Otto? Who else? Taking this Greek in for a curfew violation. You'll drive. So. Get in the car. I was just going to. Get in the car! with a German girl? No, not yet. Don't. Charlie. No? You're in the club. Smashing! Now I'll need two parking spaces. Register me for a foursome on Sunday mornings. I'm a singles man on the chorus. Hey, come on. Don't you ever give up. What do you want me to do? Kill. So there is going to be a tunnel. No, Charlie. We're going to break in, not out. I don't get it. 
We're going to take over the camps. We'll leave it. Whose cockamamie idea is that? The Greek resistance. Professor, if we live to take this camp over, what are we going to do with it? They'll let us know. Now, here's the camp. The exposures are there. And your job... I think I'll resign from this club. I don't think you want to do that. and do a little select looting before your friend gets it all. That's my baby. Hey, Charlie, you want to kiss me again? How about just kiss? You don't have to play tough guy with me. Charlie, can you make it? How quickly they forget. It's two million bucks in gold plates up there, baby. For that kind of money, I climbed the Empire State Building. <laughs> you saw that Lieutenant Brown was intoxicated. Why did you not help him? I tried to, but I was afraid of him. Prior to my assuming command, had a woman ever been executed here? No, sir. Mm. We need to set a dramatic example. This one will be the first. She's only a prostitute, being serviced by our troops. It may not be too upsetting to the locals. A housewife would be too upsetting. It implies virtuous women can be next. When do you want it done? Immediately. And um, put this on the loudspeakers. If the murderer of Lieutenant Brown does not surrender within the next 48 hours, 10 more citizens of Karai will be shot. Hmm? Wenn der Mörder von Leutnant Brown sich nicht innerhalb 48 Stunden freiwillig stellt, werden zehn weitere Einwohner von Karriai erschossen. You didn't have to kill Brown. Be it. I'll be the judge of that. I was paying him off. He was satisfied with it. We cannot rely on that indefinitely. And are we going to kill the two Americans next? No. They've been cleared. How merciful. 
And do your superiors know what personal reason you had for killing Brown? What kind of a man do you think I am? We found out now. Are you going to let them shoot ten more people to save your own skin? No one will be killed. I don't believe you. You'll see. There's a plan. Will you give yourself up if it doesn't work? No. You're a pig. Zoe's death will be avenged. I hope so. Because if I have to, I'll turn you over to Volkman myself. Let's confirm our theory about the great disparity of the timeline in this dig. That is second century BC. 90% of the rest of the finds come from the Christian era. You're right. We have run into the antique collection of a first century Greek. It's a sobering thought, isn't it, that 2,000 years ago, some rich merchant looked upon that as ancient times. Thank you, Professor. Good night, Major. Oh, I shall tell Sergeant Mann. You are free to drop in whenever you feel like it. Thank you. Yeah, they call it Socrates' Revenge. This one looks, um, really quite rare, don't you think? Looks like, uh, early Harrods. <laughs> What's this, Lois? 
be he stepped in front of the bus. It wasn't our fault. I'm sorry, Mr. Ort. Kümmer dich um den Mann. Get the gate. Let's go. Relax, it's only a walk. Watch the ball, watch the ball. Now, put it in his hand like this, right? Ah, but look, the ball is gone. Woo! So she says to the bartender, I didn't mind the first two guys, but the one in the fur coat was a little rough, and I think he ought to cut his nails. You see, she thought the bear was another guy wearing a fur coat. <laughs> and now, gentlemen, the lady we've all been waiting for, America's answer to Lily Marlene, the star of stage, screen, radio, industrial shows, and aqua pura, direct from the Radio City Music Hall, the Roxy Theater, and the Brooklyn Carnival. The fabulous, the fantastically terrific Miss Dottie Del Mar. <laughs> Thank you. 
Colonel, you will never know how much we deeply appreciate your cooperation. Now, let's bring on Sergeant Mann. Let's hear from Sergeant Mann. Sergeant, Sergeant, Sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant Mann, you are one cool cat. Now, Sergeant, can I correctly assume that there is no way on Earth that I can, with a simple wave of my fabric, remove your automatic from your holster into my hand? Am I correct? There's no way. Shubop, shibu. And I'll be. Bravo, bravo! No black magic has me. It is. Hold on. Hand on your head. Commandant, give the order to surrender arms. You'll be the first to go. Surrender your weapons. Professor. I hope you know what you're doing. All of you. Those weapons flew at the supersonic speed of 3,300 kilometers per hour and had a range of 200 kilometers. You can see from these Allied pictures, their devastating effects on the city of London. Yes, that's enough. Uh, pull the curtains. And our new weapon has even greater significance. When directed at a fleet of Allied ships, it could achieve in moments what conventional coastal artillery could not achieve in days. Well, that is all, gentlemen. Unless there are any questions, have some more tea, help yourself to the biscuits. Why do you have to do anything to Major Hecht? For one thing, he's invaded my country. Now, what is it with this woman, Professor? Well, she does have a point, you know. We need Hecht to make sure that Volkman doesn't find out what's happened here. Maybe I can persuade him. All right. I doubt that it will work, but you have my permission to try. Permission? Look, I didn't do all this fighting just to change from Krauts to Greeks. What fighting? How long do you think it's going to take that Volkman guy to find out what's happened here, even with Hecht? We have other plans. So do I. Oh, really? And what would they be? Well, I want to climb up to that monastery on Mount Athena. Very why? I'm an art lover. We all are, Charlie, but there are priorities. Wait a minute. I mean, you're not stupid enough to suppose we can climb all the way up to that monastery without Volkman's troops noticing us. We, Rotelli? <laughs> you too? You're an art lover? That I wonder where the Major Heck. Something like better luck next time? That was very well done. Thank you. Obviously, we need Volkman to go on thinking that everything's in order here. Obvious. So, we want you to tell him that it is. You're assuming, Professor, that because a man steals from his country, he will also betray it? No, that would make anybody who fiddles his taxes a potential traitor. Uh, then let me ask you something else, Professor. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if the shoe was on the other foot? Fortunately, it's not. I'll make it easy for you. If you don't help us, Zeno will kill you. You are allied with him. Will you share that responsibility? With difficulty? And there's no other alternative? Nothing yet. He's making up his mind. Thank you. It would have been a frightful waste.
You all know Otto. He's really a good kid. Not that good. What is it you wish me to do? In 18 hours, Volkman intends to shoot 10 people. That will not happen. And the Germans will be put out of action on this island. Just like that? I've discussed my plan with the professor, and he agrees that it's entirely feasible. Then we can go up to the monastery? Charlie. Charlie, you sure got a one-track mind. Our mission is to take the village and the refueling depot so that the German submarines will not be able to function against the Allied invasion fleet. After that, I don't care what you do, except... And listen very carefully, gentlemen. The treasures of Athena are the property of the Greek people. We shall begin by infiltrating the brothel in the village. I find it disgusting, Meyer Hecht, but I'm sure you don't wish to see your so-called soldiers expire of terminal priapism. Permission granted. Done. Now it's up to you. Imagine that Austrian antique dealer wanting his country club guards to visit a whorehouse before breakfast. executions this morning. Therefore, Mayor Volkman asks that your men be present and armed. Please inform the Herr Mayor. We shall be delighted to lend our presence to the occasion. Yes. So long as we're here. The right? voice of Italy. Now go downstairs. Take the prisoners in the basement. Go ahead. Yeah. soon. Rotelli, you and your men take up your positions. Remember, short burst, Charlie. Not rat tat 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 like in the gangster movies. Yes, sir. The barrel eats up. Rat tat tat. Not rat tat tat tat.
What's he telling you? What's he telling him? What's he telling him? That he likes matzo ball soup. What's he telling him? Swordfish, channel nets will be open. Use tanks one and two. Il papier répète. Alert the frogman to prepare for entry. Yes, sir. Safe. Well, there's nobody over there at the oil pump, so we should be all right till the next submarine shows up. close to him. That's his problem. Hey. Elena, you take over. We're going downstairs. Come, 
assume that everything went well in the village. Your country or mine? For mine. Oh, there's no such thing as country, Major. There are only rivers, mountains, houses, and people. Country is an abstraction. You don't really believe that, do you? No. I thank you for You seem to be in fairly good shape here. I'm not sure. Look, here's today's log. Now, what does this entry mean? There is a U-boat out there somewhere, coming in for refueling. <laughs> What does it say? Athena, goddess of war, wisdom, and music. Like you, a very confused goddess. What does that mean? Wait a moment. Looks like, uh, looks like it's pretty good here, huh? Not a bad show. Element of total surprise and all that. What? Dig him. So, when do we hit the monastery and get rich? There's a problem. A bulkman may have radioed for help. Where to? Where is the problem? That's why Zeno's dragging his heels, or so he says. The Allied invasion here has been advanced 30 days. That's a week from today. And I have to act immediately. Charlie, Rotelli up here. What's our Greek mother want now? Honey, mother. I've got good news. Volkman, he didn't transmit anything. Or if he did, nobody was listening. How do you know? How do I know? This is how I know. Allied intelligence in Turkey monitors this area. So we just hang out here till the invasion, huh? Well, we could uh, have lots of time to climb to the monastery. You certainly change your mind fast, Zeno. The last I heard, the monastery was out of bounds. The treasures of Athena are the property of the Greek people. They are. That's right. Listen, lady, the first troops that land here, regardless of race, creed, color, or national origin, are going to steal everything they can get their hands on. It might as well be us. You feel the same way? Monks are going to be conned by someone. Rotelli? I agree with both of them. All right. We'll have to climb up, carrying heavy weapons and uh, explosives. For a bunch of monks? Well, they may have taken the treasure and buried it and sealed it. I understand dynamite, but why the fancy hardware? There's still a war going on, Charlie? You know something? I don't really trust you, Mamza. But I'm more greedy than I am cautious. When do we start? Uh, right now, if you'd like. Eh?
What have you got? Submarine surfacing. Zone 3, 20 degrees southwest of the depot. Eagle 4, this is Swordfish. ETA is 1330. Over. Tell him we have a fuel leak. Do you Still read me, Eagle Tell him! This is Swordfish. Do you read me? Eagle 4, this is Swordfish. Swordfish, Swordfish, Eagle 4. I can't believe some people do this for fun. We'll proceed to Eagle 6 as alternate. Over and out. But how the hell am I going to mobilize this place? Professor, there are some things you must find out for yourself. A few limpid mines. Dolly. Mm -hmm. Five meters. Can you get down about 18 feet without equipment? Well, I guess so. Anything for the war effort. Now, you must first open the valves, then you set the mines, and I hope there are no underwater surprises. Hey, what's all that? Well, it looks like transmitting equipment to me. For a bunch of monks? wonder what they do with it. Maybe they got an early morning talk show. Morning, folks. This is Brother Zolto speaking to you on orthodoxy at high altitudes. Well, the Germans must have some sort of installation in the monastery. Oh, 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 well, at least try to sound surprised. Are you saying he's, that... He's saying you took us all the way up here for reasons that have nothing to do with what we're looking for. Right. And so am I. All right. They have a communication center there. When they find out that something is wrong down there, they're going to radio for help. We have to knock it out. How many men are in there? Oh, there can't be too many. I suppose you worked out some sort of plan, huh? Ah, carefully. We ought to throw you down the mountain. And then you wouldn't get your golden plates. My golden plates. Something happens to me. 20 years from now, when the Germans are selling Volkswagen all over the world, I'm going to be very angry, Zeno. Yeah. your agent, huh? Really? No. Jawohl. Ja. Ja, das ist normal hier. Ja, ja, geht in Ordnung. Ja, gut.
Make sure you're only touching with your boots. Now.
Machen Sie das nicht. Your idea of not too many. They got one, two, three, four. There's a whole army down there. Take off the lid. Hexaclyde, too. It sounds like a stain remover. That's close. When they wake up, there'll be a change of management. Hold your breath. The radio is dead, sir. Depot, this is Athena. Come in. Call the air base at Crete. This is Athena. Come in. What's next? There are not too many now, are there? I can't raise great either, sir. Ella. Let's go. For the treasure? Oh, yes. Great. Check the antenna. Yes, sir. Lance. Sir. Put the garrison on alert and supervise the manning of all stations. Sir. Getting close to the treasure yet. Who's through the speaking, sir? Phase one.
where they keep the treasure? Quiet. You lied. You lied to us. They know what's going on. in the shoes that could work the musical. Charlie, the ones where you shut up. you're really doing up here. You'll be a hero, Charlie. Big decorations. We're going to stop the invasion fleet from being blown out of the water. So the invasion is on. In a few days. I don't get it. So what are you doing with that thing now? I wouldn't worry about your share of the loot. In that area, Zeno can be trusted. Uh, don't worry about that area, Professor. I'm worrying about what else he has got them into. I think they can't get out of, I assure you. Missile room. Throw these in as far as you can.
where's the gold? Where's the gold plates? Can't you ever stop? Never. Would you mind if we liberated a few monks first? Go find them, will you, Nat? Okay, okay, uh, Nat, you go find the monks. Uh, you're an equal partner along with Otto and the professor. Sino, where is the treasure? Where are the gold plates, Sino? At the other, the tunnel to the right. Someone's been here before. This is programmed to self-destruct and the timer is running. Did you hear that, Charlie? Charlie, come on, we gotta go. Charlie, come on, the place is gonna blow up. Let's get out of Leave here. Leave me alone, I gotta get this open. You're crazy. Now you can get out of the brothel business. I don't know. With the Germans gone, you'll have to. Greeks, they don't pay. They don't have to. I only hope your treasures survive the total destruction of the monastery. Without question, because they are hidden in the so-called house of pleasure. In the you don't have to actually tell me where the plates are hidden. Just point me in the general direction. 
okay? We don't really want the treasures. All we want to do is copy them. If I'm getting close and I'm going right, you say, Charlie, you're getting hot, you're getting hot. But if I'm not going in the right direction, you say, cold. May I see them? I assure you, I only want to look. I intend you to profess. Thank you. I'll be your representative in New York. Sardin. Then perhaps, you know... I you... will be your representative in Rome. Now, I am drink my plate. None of this will be possible, gentlemen. Opa! Take me inside. I've always wanted to see where people go when they want to. Mm. How typical of nice girls. Oh. Charlie! Charlie, we've been looking all over for you. We've got to celebrate. The war's almost over. What's to celebrate? For God's sakes, we haven't found any treasure, and it looks like I'm losing my partner. Oh, Charlie, you're not so much losing a partner as, as gaining one. You mean you're going to join my act? No. I hope that you both will join mine. Please, let me explain. Charlie, Switzerland ain't just uh, cuckoo clocks, chocolates, and budgets. I have their treasures that I have looted, um, collected from all over Europe. Now, my plan is we will make flawless copies, which you will be responsible for selling in America. And maybe even sell some back to the Greeks. I could start a mail order, Sears and Roebuck, sell to museums. Dottie could do some door-to-door -door solicitor. Oh, I'd like that. No, we will not be sending action to museums. Let's be specific in my area, because after all, being an antiquarian, this is something I don't want the opposite. You can handle all the museums. I think we should incorporate, and we could call ourselves, give us a name. Uh, oh, Golden Orders. But it's been corporate. What's been corporate? I like that. What a team. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This building was the headquarters of the Greek resistance. It is now a state museum housing Byzantine treasures, including the famous plates from Mount Athena. I've been living, let me run.